So, Nux Taku. Nux. Who cares what he goes by? I'm not going to give you a full rundown of the situation leading up to what I'm going to say regarding what happened, but I will give you a shitty Cliff Notes version. Some shitty people did shady shit and ended up obtaining IRL information and doxing members of the VTuber group V Shoujo. Nux proceeded to tell people, without the consent of anyone in V Shoujo, mind you, that he caught the doxer. Regardless of whether he did or not, which I don't think he did, uh, he didn't have permission from V Shoujo's management group nor any of the members to say anything about the situation. He's not even involved. He's taken down the video, in which he actually went, I shouldn't post this, no shit, Sherlock, and posted a crybaby twitlonger, essentially going, I made a fucky wucky oopso fucko boingo, please forgive me. And literally all the girls are tearing into pieces. Good on him. Now that we're caught up, let me get into my thoughts. And yeah, I'm no one. Just... Some creepy VTuber that draws ludes on Picardo and streams Final Fantasy XIV. But I also, despite my pronouns, was born female, and I have an inkling of the terror and disgust these girls must have felt. So many lives of female content creators have been lost due to horrible, obsessed fans. Bianca Devins, Gabby Petito, Christina Grimmy, just to name a few. You can't pretend that with every new follower or subscriber, a new potential threat doesn't appear. That's why the safety and anonymity of VTubing is so special to those of us who have the misfortune of being born this way. We want to believe the world is a safe place, that we can experience new and exciting connections online, and we fight every day to feel that safety in our own bodies. But that luxury is seldom afforded to us. These girls had their privacy violated, and that anonymity was stolen from them, making them a target to any person with ill will. Let's not forget that as social media influencers become more prevalent, the line between lower income and higher follow count gets thinner. We can make almost zero assumptions that these girls are living in gated communities or have the affordability to hire protection. When it comes to police, they don't care to protect women until they stand to gain something out of it. Preventing a crime means nothing to them, only solving them. So when Nux, who has put his creepy sans undertale head-ass claws into any VTuber girl will talk to him, tries to clout chase and piggyback off this tragedy, you can bet your ass I'm going to say something about it. I have nothing to lose and nothing to gain, except the satisfaction of knowing I stood up for what I think is right. And yeah... Nux has repeatedly profited off these girls in questionable ways, sending them lewds without their consent, asking them inappropriate questions in videos, showing lewds of their avatars in his fucking thumbnails. He's been using these girls for clout since he had access to them, and now that they're fighting back, his hordes of unwashed creeper shitbags are attacking them. What's the matter? Don't like it when your uwu fantasy anime has autonomy? Don't like the illusion that your VTube waifu has been shattered and that there are real women behind the curtain? Suck it the fuck up. Grow the fuck up. They're not here to please you and their tragedy does not exist for your snot-nosed shit-fuck homie to take advantage of them either. So you know what? I'm glad that Nux is getting torn apart. And if you're doing a part in protecting him, you are part of the problem. Protect women. That's all I have to say. I bet you thought I was going to promote myself. No. That's not right. Yeah. You heard me, Nux. I know you're going to look up this shit. That's not right. It's not right of you to gain clout of another person's tragedy. Fuck you.